In fact, one such dangerous omission is the recurring theme in the current draft, the intentional lack of rules enforcement. This flaw was repeatedly pointed out to ZMOD staff in early summer 2020 during multiple outreach meetings. Their only reaction was to, re was to repeat ordinance language with no acknowledgement of the problem. Of course, we all know that rules are irrelevant unless enforced. So enforcement must be emphasized, right? But then citizens were told a staff of five existing zoning inspectors handle any problems. We questioned how five already busy inspectors would shoulder this load. No response. Without enforcement backup, the zoning ordinances you are considering are little more than paper tigers. Ideals on paper that serve no one because they are not enforced. The false threat of penalty for violation evaporates once the essence of the enforcement myth is exposed. Another related huge issue of concern is staff's insistence on no frequent reg regular required inspections for permit holders for any activity or amended zoning, except at the end of the renewable permit period. To make matters worse, staff's assumption is that all violations will be complaint driven by aggrieved neighbors. But this quote unquote solution is abhorrent. We should not be pitting neighbors against neighbors. In an era of extreme stress and increasing gun ownership, no one wants to be ratting out their neighbor due to Fairfax County's abdication of inspection responsibility. That's a full stop. If the county lacks efficient inspectors, it must cut all proposed increased uses to those already existing to curtail ensuing negative behaviors by either side. We will now comment on particular concrete areas of concern for Reston, including definition ambigu ambiguities. HOAs as partners with the county need to be protected. Reston's commercial revitalization district regulations, food trucks, home-based businesses, and accessory living units. These changes are the source of most of the controversy and angst that now surrounds Zimod. The changes jeopardize neighborhoods by substantially expanding uses allowed while choking off means by which residents are able to participate and protect their communities. The principal problems are proposals that change regulations without thinking through unintended consequences and without providing effective protections for neighborhoods. Proposals that nullify current regulations that do protect neighborhoods and the board's authority to modify on a case-by-case -case basis, spot zoning by special exception. Proposals that use administrative permits where now special permits are required, which currently allow resident participation in shaping developments in their communities. Proposed uses that are insufficiently limited in scope by ordinance language and inadequate provisions for county inspections where uses have a potential to damage communities.